Hey guys, this is Long Pamai, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload file to Access Database using VBA on runtime. Please check out our playlist uh, if you're interested to know how to upload file to internet, SharePoint, or other platforms using VBA. And also, if you're looking to easily transfer data between Excel to other platforms like Access Database, uh, SQL, SharePoint, or even integrate between applications. You can find them in our playlist. Uh, before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. I implemented something like this back in 2008 and I thought it might become very handy tool if you want to include a feature like this in your tool or an application. Before we proceed, let me quickly show you some of the sample files that we're planning to upload now and then I'll show you the database as well and then we'll start writing the code. Here's the PDF file, it's just a sample file and then this is an image, the JPG file, this is a sample Excel file. We'll try to upload all these files to um, the database. So this is the Access database. It's a small table that I've created here called attachment demo TB. This is the title and this is the attachment field. If you're trying to create something like this, basically you create a table and as you go to design mode, you will you can just select the field type as an attachment. So this is the table I have. This is the title field and this is the attachment field. So if you have to do this manually, you'll type in the, the title. For an example, let's say this is uh, invoice X or something. And you'll go to the attachment field, double click on it. So you can select the file and click on open and then it will edit here. Okay. You can remove them. You can save as you can do once it's uploaded here. You can do whatever you want with, with the file. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we'll start writing the code. So first I'm going to write this in Excel. Uh, if you are designing something in your Excel in front end, this might become handy. Uh, it's the same thing if you have to write this from MS Access uh, front end, it's, it's the same thing. Okay, let's start writing the code. Just before that, just make sure that you reference this to OLE automation and uh, Microsoft Office Access, uh, whatever library is the highest. I have 16.0, so you need to reference this if you're writing this code from Excel. But if you're writing this from MS Access front end, you do not have to reference this. It will already be referenced. Okay, so let's get started. Let's call this upload. Let me declare, start declaring um, or database, or workspace, records it, okay? So we'll first call rdb as um, database. We'll declare the workspace. And then next will be our RST, our record, our table. And then this will be the attachment field. Let's set up the workspace. So we'll call set WS equal to our DB engine dot workspace. And then we'll just take the first one. And then the next one will be our DB dot open work or open our database. Then this will be our uh, connection string. Just quickly walk you through in a bit. This will be the password. I currently do not have a password, so gonna leave that blank but if you do have a password this is where it will go here like this okay let me quickly take the part of the database
plug it in there. Alright. Now let's open the record set or set up the our record set. db dot okay this will be uh this uh right a small sql so select all from this table and you have to pass the mode that you want to open on so we'll open this db uh let's open this in dynasty because we want to edit okay now from here we'll start adding the records we'll have to take care of the attachment field in a bit so. so we'll say rsd title you can put in whatever value you want the title to be this is title something like this title from excel and maybe you can just put in the time as well something like this and here we'll declare our attachment field okay let's get the name of the field We'll copy this field and you can put in the field dot value. Okay, this is where we're trying to write the attachment. And now we can just treat this as a normal field again. Now we'll say rst dot I mean attachment field dot add and then dot update. Okay, and this is where you'll specify um, this particular upload method upload from file method we'll use that call this file data and this is where you put in the the path of the file that you want to upload Second. Okay, now we'll close or close out all this. The close. And then we'll close out our database. And then we'll close our workspace. And then clean up the memory, which we already did earlier. OK, uh, let's give it a shot. So database currently does not have any data. I'm going to run this database no password open the entire table this is where we're saying we'll add a new record this is the value that we want to put into the title field and then we're setting up the attachment field and then we're adding a new record and this is the file we are uploading and here we are editing the, the the field and then we're updating the table let's call this title field as test from excel and then we'll call one so this is test one let's try to run this so yep it's run very fast and then here's the file that we just uploaded double click to open we're able to open it so let's say that you want to upload uh, more than one file you can just replicate this particular index that's to you but we can just try this just 
as a demonstration. So this second time I'm loading it. Um, this is third time loading two files to one record. So if you see this, two files have been loaded. So I'm gonna just copy the same code that I created here. I'll open the database. I'll copy the code from Excel that we just wrote. Paste it to Access database. So here, uh, you do not have to do additional referencing. This is from my prior development. It is all referenced to that, but you can just ignore that. In Access Database, you do not have to do any referencing. You can directly run this. Uh, let me call this from Access, and we'll do this forward run as a test. Running it. It's done. Going back to Database. So you can see this test from Database. Okay, so guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a like and a comment if you found this video informative. As always, thanks for your support and have a great day. Bye-bye.